peace and love, man. Yeah. Hey everyone, Noah Hammond here, back with some more videos. And today we're going to talk about hippies. Why hippies are an older paradigm and what awesomeness has replaced them. So, if you're unfamiliar with hippies, it's a term used to describe the counterculture which was born in the 1960s here in America. This term was used to describe people who who really saw what wasn't working in our society, saw the way that there was oppression or unnecessary war or violence, and really took it upon themselves to fight back. They believed that love was the answer and that unity consciousness would prevail, the philosophy that we are all one. Now, we've all heard the stereotypes about hippies, that they were dirty, that they were, they were drugged out, that they were a waste of space, just listen to music, and etc. And for a lot of people in the counterculture, that was true. But also for a lot of those people, they really got it. They really stood for something, and they really wanted to make change happen in our country, in our government, in our world. Now, what the hippies didn't have that we have today it's two things, two critical components. They didn't have a plan and they didn't have the proper tools. Let me explain. The hippies really were just bred out of something had to be done, right? I gotta fight the man because the way it is ain't right. But there was no plan of, okay, if we destroy this culture, if we take down this cultural norm, what do we then replace it with? And secondly, they didn't have the tools. They didn't have the Western mindsets of how do we turn this into a business? How do we turn this into a, a, an organized movement with uh, organized goals and uh, achievable you know, benchmarks and, and a way to actually make this shift happen? How do we do that? And how do we get enough people to see it that we actually have a fighting chance? So... What the hippies did was they set a great foundation. They shook the world up a little bit, sharing the fact that love could be the way that we run this world, that peace, that harmony, that cooperation and unity could be the way that humanity coexists. But ultimately they fell short because they didn't have the tools and they didn't have the structure. Now, what you have today, what's replaced this old paradigm is this beautiful thing that myself and a lot of my community like to call an enlightened entrepreneur. An enlightened entrepreneur is somebody who understands that love is the most powerful force, that connection and cooperation and unity are what binds the human race together and that we really are all one. But instead of just being in a lovey-dovey love fest where we talk about how we're all one man and maybe pass a joint around, we understand those concepts and we understand the Western mindsets. We understand how to create systems. We understand how to create business models that fuel conscious projects and that ultimately create revenue streams inside of things that help improve the world. And because we understand both these worlds and because we can play in both these worlds, we can actually make this shift happen. And it's happening right now, whether you've noticed or not. So it's this beautiful thing called an enlightened entrepreneur. And in this video, I ultimately want to invite you to become one. What are the benefits of an enlightened entrepreneur? Well, if you're currently a spiritual person, if you currently have a spiritual practice, there's this stereotype, this hippie stigma that a lot of us spiritual people are also very broke. And what I'm going to tell you is number one, you can't meditate, you can't affect the world, and you can't grow as big an impact as possible with your positive love, your positive light, and your positive message if you're broke. So there's no honor in not having money. 
Money is an energy that runs this world. And if you want to change and impact this world with your message, there has to be some sort of revenue stream around you growing and supporting that so it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, this video is not saying that everybody in this world is meant to make money. But if you actually have a desire to impact the world in a big way, then making money is essential and is an essential component of that. So what we get as enlightened entrepreneurs is the opportunity to actually go deeper in our spiritual path because we have money. So we're not worried about the lower level needs. We're not constantly scraping for that next meal or that next thing, but we actually can focus on our inner work, on who we are and how we're being. That's the first benefit of being an enlightened entrepreneur. Now, the second one is how you grow and scale your impact, right? As there's more money behind you and your message, there's more impact out in the world. You get to reach more people, like exactly what I'm doing right now. And number three is that ultimately as an enlightened entrepreneur, you become the best you you can possibly be. Because you're not only taking on the spiritual work, you're not only taking on the inner work, you're taking on the mental work, you're taking on the worldly work, you're taking on the inner realms and the outer realms, and you're prevailing in both. In my opinion, it would be easy for me to go sit in an ashram where nobody would bother me and I could meditate all day. And in fact, there's part of me that would love to do so. But that would actually, in my opinion, be the easy way out. It's not that time anymore. It is not time for our spiritual leaders to be sitting in an in a ashram up on top of a mountain. It's time for our spiritual leaders to be in the world, changing the world not only through spirit and heart, but through business and impact in the actual world. So you get to become your greatest self because you get to challenge yourself in all levels, in the inner work and in the outer work. Business is not easy. And it will show you all the ways in which you do not believe in yourself, in which you do not uh, think you're smart enough, cool enough, strategic enough, whatever enough, right? It will show you all the ways in which you doubt yourself, in which you fear. It, it will uncover your deepest, darkest limiting beliefs, put them right in your face and say, conquer me, I dare you. So... My friends, my soon-to-be enlightened entrepreneurs, or my currently existing enlightened entrepreneurs, I would invite you to go check out GetHighImpact.com, right over there, which is where I teach people who are conscious, who have a, a message or a product or a service they would like to get out into the world. I teach them exactly how to do it, just like how I do it. And there's a free training which will show you exactly how to get started. So I encourage you to go there and check that out. And I hope this has been enlightening. Please comment below. Talk about this, the evolution of hippies and how they set the foundation of love for us to really take to the next level and actually make this shift, actually take the planet into a state of peace and harmony and how we're doing that through business as well as through spirit. I would love to see a conversation about that. So comment below, leave me your thoughts. As always, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video if you liked it. Check me out on Facebook, and I'll see you soon with another video advice. Thanks.